G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works. Today, um, it's early spring here in uh, Melbourne, uh, Victoria. Now, I thought I'd take you through how the maples are performing at this time of year, because it's quite, um, it's kind of important to, to look at trees at this stage. This is a really nice Japanese maple I've got. Um, I love the leaves on this, they're almost the inside of the leaf is yellowy and so it's a bit red, the tips are red, so you can kind of see that in the camera. But it's starting to form a really nice natural style. Um, still, the leaves are fresh, uh, they're about to come out, or, or they've come out and they're just really fresh. They haven't elongated too much in terms of the nodes, the, the really ends haven't really pushed out. But there are some things I want to quickly show you. You can see probably a nice full bit of foliage here and there. I'll just spin it around to the back. Now, I've been a bit slack. You can see one, two, three, hopefully. Um, hopefully you can see these ones have elongated too much. Now, I should have been able to pinch out the middle. A bit lazy of me, but they were kind of at the back and I missed them. So I'll still take them out anyway. Just pinch them out. I just use my fingers because it's so soft. I'll just pinch back to the to the first lot of bread. First, first, um, first bunch of leaves. First bunch of leaves. <laughs> Sorry. And it's just pinching out. Now, it's just annoying because now these ones have got really big, um, but no big deal, like there's a few more up here, lazy on, big one over here, so it would have been nice if they were a bit, bit newer, um, and you can just see them coming out to the middle, and you see the little, the two leaves about to come out, come out, you take, you pinch it out, just pinch that little bit out, but now I've done that, it seems okay, you can see this branch here, hopefully, you can see that branch, hasn't but it hasn't leafed out. The, the buds are nice and fresh. It just probably hasn't got enough sun on this side. So rotating your tree is also important at this time of year. Um, so I just saw that one. Um, but really, this is the type to enjoy them. And I'm really enjoying this tree. Also I found that this branch here hasn't budded, but um, you can see nice healthy, nice healthy bits. There's a little bit of dieback on this one, so I just cut him off, but no biggie. And now you'll see which branches have died as well. So you can cut the dead ones off. But that just needs a bit of sun and it should start to bud up again. This is a really nice Japanese maple um, and I was a bit late on that pinching so now I keep looking. There's nothing really coming out of the middle so it's really good um, but they will start to shoot from the middle soon. Um, there you go. Here's another Japanese maple you would have seen if you've been following my channel for a while. It's really really quite stunning now. It's starting to really come up really nice in terms of um, I love this branch. I love that big sweeping branch. It looks very natural. The apex is coming along. There's a few little poles here and there. Um, but this is also doing the same problem. It's having the same thing that I've been a bit slack with. I'm just going to try and get closer. Uh, probably can't swing this around because that branch is so long. But here it's done to elongate a bit too much. I'm going to take that out. Just looking around. The only other place is I'll try and bring this all the way around to you is in here. It's getting very long and heavy. So I'm gonna just, I was a bit, again, sometimes it takes one week, not even one week, couple days of warm weather, and you and you just are a bit late, late on picking, plucking that middle bit out. It's just the middle bit I'm taking out. It's all I can do right at this time of year. I'm not gonna chop branches off, I'm not gonna do anything. Just take out that long middle one. Now, you only do this if you've got trees in refinement. By the way, I should have mentioned that. There's no need to do this trees in development, like you're developing branches and trunks and so on. So you really don't do that. But I'm just just going around. Anything that's out of the silhouette, usually I take take out. So yeah, but this is really looking really nice. It's got a new pot. Uh, it's an old Japanese a Japanese um, pot. Beautiful, really, and beautiful patina on it. Very very nice old weathered look, and it's absolutely perfect for this tree. Oh, I love it. It's great, meat and great balance now. Terrible. I missed that pot before. I couldn't find the right one. And this one came along, and it's a beauty. So, again, just really fresh growth. Let it do its thing, but make sure you look out for the middle. If it elongates, start the elongate. You just got to pinch it back. Now you don't have to have uh, display quality, exhibition quality Japanese maples. Here's one that's you know in a bonsai pot, <clears throat> just slowly starting to be trained. It's had an initial bit of a styling it's got some multiple trunks looks quite nice but you know the, the growth is very coarse still you don't have the pads developing you don't have anything like that so this is how this maple is behaving it's got you can notice a huge difference on the long shoots okay long shoots everywhere 
um, which is okay. If, if you want to keep going like that, you can keep going like that, which is good. Um, the So some of the options here for me, I, I look at the tree and go, how big do I want it? Do I want some big branches in certain areas? Um, then I need to let them grow out. Okay, so you can see this nice long one out here. There's a, there's, this is where it, this is how far it's going out already. Now, <coughs> it's I'm only looking at I'm not looking at the nice old growth here, you know, the, the old trunk, and you know I'm not even contemplating touching this this trunk. I'm only looking at the edges, the tips, and so on. That's all I'm thinking about at this stage in in spring early spring the only thing i'm thinking about is the tips what am i going to do um do i want to control the growth just bring it back in i don't want it to get too much bigger do i want certain areas to get bigger and taller so really what i'm thinking is in the in the apex here i do want it a bit longer and to grow some maybe a bit more heavier branches so i'm kind of going to leave those let them do a little bit of a thickening up in the top area but out here they're starting to get quite long and, and, and extensive especially out the other side especially this one for example you know I want to try and push the growth in so without going big cutting but cutting back hard and so on um, this is explosive new growth on a young young Japanese maple really this is quite young compared to the other ones um, so I look at I look at things I look at the tree you know that I think that was the front um, look at the tree I love all this inner growth all the inside growth I want to keep all that but I want to encourage it. So how do we encourage it? You try and try and keep the ends, the tips in, in check. Like something, some, some I can actually break off with my fingers. It's not that hard. Maybe not this one, but I'll just come back to it, to it, to, to a couple more leaves back there. Not a huge cut back, but just enough to, to stop the elongation and try and push the tree back, push the growth back into the tree. <clears throat> Hope that makes sense. So by stopping the elongating that way, I'm going to get all these buds to pop. See, for example, there's buds here that haven't popped yet. And this is really long into notes. So, you know, in a way, do I want a really long branch there? No, probably no. So I might come back to here for now, to this, to these ones. So push back the growth slowly. Now I have no issues with bleeding on this. It's too young, or the, the tips are too young. I'm only cutting the tips. I'm not gonna trunk chop anything at this time of year because I'll get too much bleeding. So <clears throat> by just slowly, you know, pushing back a bit of the growth, you know, you start to, um, start to build the tree. Do a bit of here as well. Without going too crazy <clears throat> just to keep it in check you know very very small amount of you know trimming normal nothing huge you could pinch you know you could pinch out if you want but in this case easy enough to do that and just give it back some sort of seat so bringing it some some of it back in okay I don't go into crazy at this time of year now let it go again flush out again and keep keep the tips keep the tips in check I guess because um, then all these will grow and then we actually can make decisions about how long and how short and etc etc so young material still needs you to look at them um, I've also find young material are more susceptible to um, aphids at this time of year so a lot of the new growth because it's so explosive it's got so much energy I do find occasionally there's aphids in there you just I spray the confidor but I pluck them off as well if I see anything there. So for you, especially for younger material, have a quick look. Let's have a look at another tree. Well, here's another young Japanese maple um, that I've been developing slowly. Um, it's part of those part of those trees that I dig up out of the ground and you've seen it before, you've seen if you watch my channel for a while, you know I collect or I grow and dig up uh, maples and this is one of them that's interesting. So nice roots out here exposed roots really looks good and I'll develop them slowly. I have trunk chopped it over winter. It's a bit of a Big, there was a big trunk here, it was straight, ugly, so I got rid of it and I've got some putty over it, just letting it heal. But now I've got all this unsightly growth in a way. That's nice. really, it's doing its thing. It hasn't really pushed major, major, um, major growth just yet. The leaves are quite big already. I'm just letting it do its thing. I haven't, haven't really needed to do too much. I, these ones here, I'm just leaving because they're on this side of the tree. I do find this tree is going to be nice, some sort of slanting with, with an apex here, and, a, and it's almost like a semi-cascade, naturally doing it anyway, with the roots on this side look really, really quite spectacular. But because of this wound, I want these to grow really solidly on this side. I want these to grow solidly so we can heal this wound up. So that's why every tree has its own, own nuances and why you're doing certain things. So in this case, this maple, I'm not going to touch. I'm just going to let it grow. 
um, especially at this stage. Even though the leaves are big, there hasn't really been explosive growth just yet anywhere. Um, and these ones I want to really let go and do some do some healing work on this wound. Okay, so there's, there's another young tree. I haven't touched this one. But if I had that elongation growth, I might have given it a little trim back. Now, before I move on to my tridents, I'm, I've got this maple, this is my Japanese maple as well. Now, I'm pretty happy with these guys. Uh, they're nothing spectacular, but they're the red barked, um, oh, I can't remember which variety. I think they call them coral bark occasionally, um, but they're the red barked Japanese maples, and the leaves are nice and green. Um, now these are LA's I took off a parent tree and these trees are on its own rootstock and they're doing really well. Um, these trees though, because they're on their own rootstock, you don't go crazy on them, you don't go nuts on them. I, if they were on the Japanese standard rootstock, you can kind of attack them maybe a little bit more harder, but they're on their own rootstock. I'm letting them do their thing. Um, the elongation is quite extensive. You can see it's quite long, but I'm not gonna to touch those. I'm just going to um, let this tree settle in and I might do a, what's called, um, later in spring, I'll cut, cut them back because I don't want them to bleed now. If I cut those at the top, they're a little bit thicker um, and they'll, they'll just bleed. So really this one, you can see the elongation isn't as strong in terms of the young growth, um, but really nice, that red, you can probably see it in the camera really well, the red bark with the, with a the very light green foliage looks quite spectacular. Just little nuances, nuances with different trees. So nice little nice little way to do it but i'm um, very happy with this um, but let's move on to some tridents and see the difference all right here's a lower nice little trident maple of mine one of my favorites um got a few favorites here in, the, in this trident maple color selection here this tree is just starting to really you can see the the leaves haven't really hardened off yet they're just really just coming up and you'll see that now tridents you can I'll, I'll, this is going to be probably controversial a little you can, which I've done, which I used to do anyway. You can come and start to pinch out the middle sections, the little middle, the middle, the middle node, middle leaves, middle buds, whatever you call them, middle buds. You can come and pick, pinch them out as they're as they're coming out. They're really hard to see, but you, they're in the middle. You can come pinch them out. Now, I'm finding tridents, Japanese maple, yes, pinch those out, but with tridents, I'm finding you can do that, and that's fine. But if you forget, it's not the end of the world. Uh, and you're not going to lose too much because tridents in Melbourne especially are very vigorous they grow really well really strongly um, if you forget to do the, the pinching out of the middle you can just come along trim back and these things will bud and shoot back no problems so it's a little bit different and probably a little controversial I'm not 100% sure other people agree with me here but in Melbourne's conditions these things grow really really wild and rampant and if you feed and look after them and give them sun and water these things will just explode growth and you can almost treat them like let them grow trim them back let them grow trim them back because if i pinch this out it'll still grow it's going to grow like crazy crazy japanese maples you pinch out the middle kind of slows down a little bit and starts to do bud backing and uh but you know pushing pushing growth a bit further back which is great but it doesn't do the elongation as much as it, as a trident does so <coughs> again that's my opinion. You don't have to don't have to shoot, you don't have to do what I tell you at all. But that's an, another idea. So don't worry if you haven't if you've forgotten to do the pinching out the bud um, at the tips. It doesn't matter because these things grow so quickly, so rampant that you'll be just trimming it anyway all the time. Um, this tree still buds back even back all the way down here, and it's quite old, quite a decent decent trunk. It's a good oh, what's that about 20 centimeters across? Easy 20 to 30 already. So looking really nice and really small. And compact maybe maybe these branches have to get a bit bigger out here and this tree is looking really good but yeah at this time of year it's very early spring the growth hasn't really hardened off and really filled out yet so you've got a bit of time um okay now here's a younger piece of material that these are the, these are tridents that are growing fused together now there's three trunks here that are fused nicely together and this tree will just build and fill out but it's it's really the first year of me trying to style it and trying to work with it now this is the bit where i said if you've forgotten to pinch the buds out, don't worry because you can just cut them back. So a lot of a lot of up here, there's about one, two, there's a lot of leaves have come out. Okay, so if you're really at a point, if you really want to keep it in check, this tree and push the growth back further down, you, you can actually come in and start to um, trim it back. So I will have to zoom in, but I'll try and focus on this one. So this is when there's there's the first little set, there's the second set, 
third set and there's another one in here I'll just come back and cut to the first set okay these are brand new growth right it's not the old truck or not the old um, not the old wood it's the first lot of growth so I don't have any problems with trying us doing that okay so I would go through and cut it back because the last thing you want is huge nodes huge nodes like the length of the node is huge okay you want it really depends what you want also if you want a really top beat you want to keep it and so on you can let it grow but most things I need to cut back I do leave it I do leave a little stub wherever I cut it back um, but all this growth it doesn't I just want to keep it in check push I want to push growth further down as well so by doing this I'm stopping the tree going too crazy so you can do it now you can wait a little bit longer no big deal but I just want to show you the exercise of what I mean by this is pushed out three at least three sets of leaves by now you know it's one two three off it goes okay so you can have a quick look around have a quick look around see bits that are needing to be trimmed back <coughs> and this just keeps helping the tree obviously further back which I want to try and do even in the apex come back to the first slit because I don't want it to get too taller So again, exactly what I meant. You don't have to pinch the buds if you forgot. I'll just come back and cut it back. It's pretty, pretty quick and easy how I did that. Just go in and prune it out. Um, let me just make sure I can, can show you exactly what I'm... Hopefully you guys can see that, exactly what I did. I don't know if you can see in here, but I'll try and zoom in. You'll see there's a leaf, leaf, the shoot, leaf, leaf, shoot. Come back to this bit, leave a little, little bit of stub and leave the two leaves on that side hopefully i'll be able to zoom in and you can see that <laughs> all right now i just want to show you something really obvious here with this little guy sorry the front is side i think oh, this has got two good fronts doesn't matter but this tree you can't touch it yet nothing to do just yet on this tree for me it's just starting to push all the growth very very fresh you can see how fresh that is just starting if you go in and pinch the middle you can if you really want to but this tree was repotted this year just letting it do its thing now if you can come and see close i'll try and zoom in but you can see all the back budding really starting to happen really nice you're getting buds on old wood already on this guy but i'm not touching it too early to do anything for me um, unless you've got really fine tweezers and want to come in and pinch that out but because this is recently repotted i want to let it just flush out with growth okay now here's another trident that um has featured in my videos in the past and um i did a repotting video on this guy recently this year um i've had a few people interested in this tree um but this this one's really again repotted starting to shoot heavily and you see the droopiness of the foliage meaning it's really just flushing out the growth now this tree i do like to come in and pinch um just because um i want to get more i guess back budding and budding inside a bit more so and it does elongate quite easily now i'll come in and show you it's actually probably i'm probably a little bit late again there's two sets of leaves in here one there one there so one there one there and the next set one there one there and then there's this tip so i would really want to come in and start to pinch this out um, at this time of year because i want the i want the back layer. so i'll come in and just go pinch that out leaving two sets you don't even have to use the scissors for this they'll just come right out if you had if i would probably a week earlier i should have done this a week earlier but again tridents are tridents and you shouldn't have any problems you can use tweezers if you if you're very patient here's, here's an example where it's gone too long i'll just come in with the scissors and cut back to the buds i want okay just as an example but yeah this one's really really good as an example come in pinch out the middle work my way around and just keep doing the same thing pinch out the middle don't do it with one hand but i do want to block the i usually do this so hold with one hand pinch out the pinch out the middle right? hold with one hand pinch out the middle but i block i want to block the camera some trees cut them some trees get in there and, and pinch them out this is perfect it's just this is much easier to pinch out and just work your way around the tree all right, so got the idea. Hopefully, you got the idea of what I mean. Every tree I really treat differently. Have a look at them and really and analyze where they should be at. Now, what I'll do is I'll quickly walk you around other maples in the garden where they're at, so you can see how how different trees react differently in the same environment, which is another totally different um, topic. 
All right, here's another Trident Maple, really big one, really big base. This is, I know there's a few people on my subscribers who really love this tree. Um, again, way too early to do anything. It's it's still flushing out it's, all its growth. So I really don't do much here. I could come in and pinch some of these bottom ones. But again, I'll, I'll probably treat this Trident as clip and grow, just clip off the branches. Right next to it though, look at the difference in leaf on the root on the rock, root over rock one. The leaves are really starting to flesh out much, much faster than this one, even though they're in pretty much the same location. Then you've got this one, which is even bigger, even more advanced than this. So everything's looking really nice and healthy. This one's get just treated like a trip, um, again, clip, just go around clipping it, clipping the long growth when I get a chance. Um, just show you all the maples that I collected, Japanese maples that I collected, that I showed you about the my video, like 300 Japanese maples pretty much doing all right there's a few I could see that have died off um, as I said I've get about a 80 to 90 percent success growth on these guys so they're doing really reasonably well now here's another here's another trident that's also just coming into leaf it's always the last one to leaf I always notice this 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 tree always takes its time to leaf but it'll get there now this tree I'm really enjoying the, the, this tree now remember the Japanese map from before, but this tree is really starting to come along really well. It's it's leafing up really nicely. I will just this tree I treat pretty much clipping rather than pinching out the bud. Uh, I've got it in this pot at the moment, but then I found this beautiful pot that I'm going to put in a Yamafusa. This is a vintage Japanese as well, but I think that green one might be better. So I will think I'll look at slip potting this later on. It's still too early to slip pot it right now. I don't want to disturb the roots just yet, but this tree is really <laughs> something special. Um, I'll get into that pot and hopefully at our club show, the next show, I'll have this in the show. Here's another trident, also nice Nabari. Sorry about the olive in the way, but um, that's that's again, different stage, it's starting to shoot. Look at the back budding inside there. Yep, really happy. Because I want lots of lots of shoots in the apex so I can create a nice full apex. This is another Japanese maple. It's doing really well. This has got a good story to it. Maybe I'll have to share that one day with you guys. All right. Now, I haven't actually shared this tree with anyone before, but here is a monster trident maple that I'm slowly developing. It's, it's a mammoth tree. I'll try and put my hand in there. But it needs a lot of work and a lot of time and effort. And you can just start to see it's starting to bud up nicely. But it's a big boy. It's 40 centimeters, 30, 30, 40 centimeters across the base. It's got a big, big tree. It's got big wounds, which I'll have to heal over time. But you can probably see the periphery of how this tree is going to look. I want a very natural looking deciduous tree look. But again, different, different stage in the garden. Look at that. Very different to the others. All right, guys, I hope you um, got some information out of this video and working with your maples, and um, I'll see you guys soon.